Okay, let's welcome Louis Ustazen, the captain of Stinger GC. Welcome, Louis. You had an incredible day today. You shot eight under. You shot seven under par through the first 10 holes. What do you think contributed to your incredible day? Um, just making a few more putts than yesterday, really. Um, hit it pretty good yesterday, but today I was, uh, I was on pinpoint on, on what I saw, uh, well, what my eyes saw and what I was doing with the ball. You have those days, and um, you know, it was nice to, to, um, to have a golf round like that um, in the second day. So the Stingers are almost at the top of the leaderboard. I think you're one off the ripper. Is this bringing back memories of London last year? And what would that mean to you to have back-to-back -back wins in London? I can't remember if we were leading going in Sunday last year. Um, but I know there's a big field behind us this time. And, um, you know, it's going to be a, a big task tomorrow. But um, the boys played really well today. So I think um, we got a good shot. That's great. I'll kick it over to Mike. Louis, how much did you guys talk about... <clears throat> defending the team title because this is the first time we've been back to a course did you did you talk a lot we haven't really talked about it but um well, i think i think now that you have a chance to do it i think um you might be thinking about it a little bit more but again once we once we get going on the golf course there's not really going to be much thinking you're just going to try and make the best score on each hole um but it will be nice, you know, to, to be able to do that um, will be will be extra special. And for you personally, you know, it wasn't great last year. Obviously, it's pretty good this year. What do you think you may have found this year that you'd maybe something about the course uh, or anything different, you think? It is nice coming back to a golf course you've played before. Um, so it's sort of you, you, you comes a few things come back on wh what you did last year or how you played the hole or remember things about the hole. Um, but, you know, um, uh, last week didn't play that great, but I always feel like my game is pretty close to, to, um, to playing good golf. And um, today a lot of things came together and I know I'm putting well and and um, to be able to hit the irons the way I hit them today is, was very positive. That was sort of the part of my game that was always um, keeping me um, a little bit behind. But, um, you know, if I can grow on this or work on this after today, then, um, you know, it should be exciting going forward. How much were you looking at the, uh, the team leaderboard? Because you guys were tearing it up for most of the day. Yeah, it caught my eye uh, somewhere where we were like, 11 under and the rippers were 17 and the next thing i see we were like 21 under leading so obviously i went through a stretch there with mike made a few birdies and the eagle and and then dean and shawl probably had to go through the same so um it's it's unbelievable how the the leaderboards can change out here with three scores to count uh, so you know with this format tomorrow you can be three four behind with a couple of holes to go and and you can still do something so um it, it's very exciting yeah and you through 15 holes, I think you were nine under. Uh, were you thinking about 60, 59, or in your case, 57? I, I was. <laughs> I felt like I was hitting it good enough to to genuinely have a birdie on every hole yeah. to um, have a chance. And I missed that short birdie putt on 17, yeah. and then had an eagle opportunity on 18, and then just um, completely um, gust of wind got at me on the second shot on one. And just lost concentration really on my on my third shot and made a bogey. So, um, you know, probably could have get a few more out of it, but um, I played solid golf. I, I can't complain. All right, thanks. Thank you. Great, thank you, Louis. Good luck tomorrow in defending the Stinger title. Look thank forward you. to seeing you out there. Thank you.